What's up everybody, Brother Christopher here, and this is a video I recorded December 30th, the day before the rainbow in the sky. Check this out. What's up everybody, Brother Christopher here, just reporting, I'm having another strange feeling, and I don't know what it is, and I'm in Las Vegas and I go outside and I see this big old ring of a cloud over the whole city, and I just heard some vibrations like shaking a second ago, so pray for everybody, everybody, God bless each and every one of you, Jesus is here, Jesus is near, Jesus is at the door, so repent and turn from your evil ways come to the Lord before it's too late. Hallelujah. Amen. Now this is a strange looking camel trail here. No, notice how it feathers up and nothing's coming down off of it. Look at this camel trail here. Oh, we got a rainbow, y'all. Why would that be causing a rainbow right here? I'll back this up so you guys can see this. You guys see that? Wow. This is Las Vegas, everybody. I got I got a ring in the sky with a rainbow on one end. And then I got a strange looking chemtrail over here. Let me come out here. See that rainbow? That ain't that ain't a lens flare or anything. That is rainbow in the sky. Now let me back up here. There's the cam trail. With the sun underneath it. And a rainbow in the sky. It's strange because you would think that it would be around the sun. This is something we usually see around the sun or the moon, but it's not. If this ain't a sign from God of his soon return, then I don't know what is. Not the chemtrail, I'm talking about that right there. And I'm just gonna. Get some footage of this thing while it lasts here. Turn in all directions. Just so you guys can see that this thing is. Let me get into this light pole here. This is not a lens flare. Let me turn in a circle. You guys see that? I told you guys I saw this, a ring in the sky last night, too. So I wonder, is this some type of portal opening? That's the other side of the city there. Looking back on this video here, I realize the ring is in the same place that the whirlwind would have been above the tree. In this vision, I had a vision in 1995. In my vision, I walked outside of a house. And as I walked outside, I heard something up above me, so I looked up and almost fell backwards because the sky was 20 feet away from the ground. sky last night now there's a rainbow ring in the sky today the Lord is at the door and the clouds started swirling 
like a whirlwind and I heard these voices like sounded like tongues in the background and as these tongues were going on and the clouds were swirling they were on fire and lightning was going through them fire and I heard God speak and whenever he spoke the clouds would light up and the ground would rumble and all of a sudden I got sucked up and as, as I was getting sucked up I grabbed onto the tip of a tree and I was holding on to the tip of a tree everything seemed so real I could feel the branches I could feel the wind trying to suck me up into the sky and as I was sitting there holding on I heard a still small voice just like the Bible says a very quiet voice said to me let go and I let go of the tree branch and went and got sucked up into the sky and I woke up immediately and the Lord is very very close to opening that door just thought I'd get some more footage of this for you guys let me zoom in on that rainbow let jumped right out of the bed and I remember the first thought that went through my head was I heard an ancient Hebrew language now at that time in 95 I didn't know nothing about who the Hebrews were I thought they were like Druids or something Hebrews and Druids but I knew it had something to do with the Bible so that really got me reading the Bible too that's another thing that led me to to God but you know God's always been there with me and he's always been in my heart and I've always known that he's real but he keeps showing me these rapture visions the first one was in my four horsemen vision then this one right here so in this one I was taken in the four horsemen vision I was left behind now, what's so crazy is at that time I didn't know what tongues were either. So when I woke up, I thought to myself, I, I heard an ancient Hebrew language spoken to me. And I didn't understand what the word said, and I didn't know what God was saying to me, but I know it was God.